Live from the breaking news and weather authority, this is WEAU 13 News at 6. Thanks for joining us. No one is hurt after an Eau Claire house fire last night. The Eau Claire Fire Department says it responded to the fire at a duplex on Zephyr Hill Avenue around 10.15 p.m. Firefighters say when they arrived, a significant amount of smoke and fire was coming from the garage. They were able to keep the fire contained to one side of the duplex. Everyone who was in the home at the time was able to get out safely. ECFD estimates the fire caused around $100,000 worth of damage. What exactly led to the fire is still under investigation. From 2020 to 2021, the number of deaths in Wisconsin caused by domestic violence went up. Madeline O'Neill shares why community members at one town hall meeting in Milwaukee are calling this an all-hands-on-deck situation. The Medical College of Wisconsin says domestic violence homicides and shootings in Milwaukee peaked this year in January and September. Speakers at the town hall say their focus for 2023 is on prevention. While well, meteorologist Derek Dahlman is out for a while caring for his new baby boy, we have a familiar face helping out with the weather this weekend. Let's welcome back Drew Williams for our Skywarn 13 forecast. As ice fishing season gets closer, the Wisconsin DNR and UW Extension are sharing some tips to prevent the spread of invasive species this winter. The social media app TikTok is trending, but not in the way its users would like. Some states are banning the app for governmental employees over security concerns. The newest graduates of UW Eau Claire walked the stage and got their diplomas today. Families and friends packed Zorn Arena in Eau Claire to watch students earn their degrees. The university says 677 students graduated this semester. As some of the graduates waited to get their diploma, some shared their words of wisdom for students just starting at UWEC. Don't be afraid to put yourself out there. You're going to try new things, you're going to fail sometimes, but once you find not only what you're passionate about, but other people who are passionate about that as well, you're going to develop some of the best friendships you can, and that is what's going to make your college career. UW Stout in Menominee also held its commencement ceremony today. Nearly 600 students graduated this semester. One nonprofit in Eau Claire is helping the community get into the holiday spirit with a free meal. Over 30 volunteers with Hope Gospel Mission work to serve a Christmas dinner for community members from across the Chippewa Valley. The group has been hosting the meal for over 20 years. Organizers say each year they prepare to serve around 500 people and they're happy to do it. We just believe that um, the greatest feeling is to be able to help people and giving back. And so there's so many people that are hurting, so many people that need a family in this community, and it's just our way of extending that love. No says the dinner and other services Hope Gospel Mission provides are made possible thanks to donations from the community. The Vikings take on the Colts for a chance to clinch the NFC North title. First, how one Wisconsin community worked together to surprise a girl with terminal cancer. In October, doctors diagnosed a then four-year-old girl with terminal brain cancer. To lift her spirits and to help her celebrate her fifth birthday, the Pewaukee community came together to give her a special surprise. Coming up after the break, Drew will let us know when to expect the next round of snow. Plus, we could see the coldest temperatures of the season in the next few days. Your full Skywarn 13 forecast is next. It's time to get back to reality and go below zero. Uh, I mean, I was hoping the nice weather would continue, but yeah, as you said, like it, it was about time to do you, happen. Do you like snow better or the cold? Which would you rather have? Snow rather than cold. I think most people are that way. I think so too. Thanks, yeah. Drew. Coming up next in Sports Scene 13, Blue Gold men's basketball faces a tight matchup with St. Norbert. And the Vikings take on the Colts in one of the most thrilling games of the year. I think the number one question on everybody's mind is, is there going to be any more snow today into tomorrow? Well, you know, maybe a tiny bit tonight. Nothing too crazy, but really the bigger story is going to be the cold temperatures. So this is actually going to seem warm compared to what we could see over the next couple days. Uh, unfortunately, I was so used to, you know, the 30s, and now here we are going pretty chilly. One more. That's all you got to do. Thanks, Drew, and thank you for joining us. Our next newscast is coming up tonight at